Welcome to the first part of our series where we're touring luxury and antique homes in the quiet corner of Connecticut. The first luxury home brings us to the small town of Woodstock. Woodstock was founded in 1686, and even though it is the second largest town in Connecticut, it actually has one of the smaller populations. Woodstock is mainly an agricultural town, however, holds some of the most beautiful homes in the area. And today, we're viewing 71 Child Road here in beautiful Woodstock. Hi, I'm Lisa Rollins, Lisa Rollins' team at Page Taft Compass. Thank you for coming. I'm really excited to talk to you about all of the special uniqueness this home has to offer. I've been doing this 20 years, and in the two decades I've been doing this, I have never seen a house with so much architectural detail and specialness that this house offers. So you will see some mahogany door and what's special about this house is you will notice the tile and the wood flooring throughout. They're from around the world and reclaim wood throughout the country. This particular tile is marble from um, Spain. And the heating? Radiant. 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 Many of the tile floors have uh, radiant heat. Then you will see the uh, dental molding and the trim with nine and a half foot ceilings on the first floor. Every piece of glass that you see was custom designed and handmade by the owner himself and every oh, wow. one above every door is unique into itself. Oh my gosh. The different colors, especially with the light coming through the windows. Yes. It's really nice. Yes, it is. So one of the things I want to point out to people when they arrive is that this house was designed so that you're not looking at walls. If you stand here, you can see right through to the octagon room. If you stand here, you can see right through to the kitchen without walls or doors blocking your view. So even though it's cozy and it has separate rooms, it has, you know, the open, like wide open, yeah, a wide open feel. Yes, and all the hallways are four feet wide, which is unusual, upstairs as well. And throughout, you'll notice that the lighting fixtures, many of them are reclaimed antique from the 1940s. So specifically the 1940s. Yes. Okay, so they're all within the same era, same design. Yes. It's beautiful. And nothing is the same. That's the, that's the booty of it. Yeah, I love that. One of many Rumford fireplaces throughout the home, and it is actually carved, hand-carved marble. Beautiful. And then the herringbone pattern. Herringbone brick pattern in the back. And then this is Surround. white marble here. Mar white marble. White hand marble. Carved. Hand carved white marble. It's beautiful. And what is this type of fireplace? Rumford. That's Rumford. one of many in the home. Okay, so what's Rumford fireplace mean? Rumford was something that was designed many years ago, and they're very narrow and shallow, and what that allows for is for heat to uh, exude through the room. So it doesn't go, heat doesn't go straight up, it actually comes out yes, and it heats helps, up the room. Yes, it helps uh, with the heat in the room. Yes. And you'll notice that many of the uh, fireplaces and tile work is hand-painted with the Audubon theme. Oh, that's nice. Okay, the Audubon. Welcome to the octagon-shaped room. Ooh. Uh, we have a lot of mahogany in here. It has a very different feel. It's 24-foot uh, high ceilings, uh, windows on all five walls, um, storage beneath, another Rumford fireplace with antique pine mantle. Oh, wow. And so this is a fieldstone fireplace, another Rumford fireplace design. Yeah, so that heat comes out of here. That's awesome. Herringbone brick again. Yes. Beautiful. And the floors are the floors are reclaimed white oak flooring from tobacco barns in Pennsylvania. Beautiful. Wow. Now that's unique. Yes. <laughs> you don't hear that often. No. <laughs> Let's head into the dining room. Notice the tremendous uh, wood trim paneling up on the on the ceiling. It's, yeah. it's just it's so ornate so and different than any other room in the house. 
Also the wood paneling is extra high. And again, we have um, from the turn of the century, gas reclaimed antique wow. sconces yeah. and um, so what you're saying is that these were gas in the 1900s, early 1900s. Those sconces were, yes. And now they're electric. I think, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. wow. Changed. That's yes. amazing. I know. And then the fireplace, again, some of these fireplaces are another Rumford, um, custom woodwork, um, hand-painted tile uh, with the Audubon theme. And that. just magnificent detail. And this is a glass in, uh, gas insert, so that makes it easy just turn right on. I love that. And the wood the wood doors are also nice throughout oh, the home. Yeah. They're the solid wood. Oh yeah, and we have the the ga um, what are these called? Trans transoms? The transom glass. Transom. You can see them very well. They're in this room as well. There's three of them and they're all very unique and different. Again, designed by the seller. And we have the white pine floors again from, from the tobacco. Tobacco barns in Pennsylvania. Awesome. Okay. So Let's, let's head into the pantry, which has a tremendous flow from the kitchen to the dining room for entertaining. You see under cabinet lighting, there's a bread war warming drawer, there's an extra dishwasher in here. Oh wow, right in your pantry, extra dishwasher. That's great for entertaining. Yes it is. Okay, now this is the creme de la creme kitchen. This is reclaimed tile, one and a half inch thick from Jerusalem. Wow. Yes. Oh my gosh. That must have been great to ship over here. Right. Yes. Throughout, yes. Throughout the house, it's, it's just never ending. This, you'll notice, is just one contiguous piece of stone. That's another very difficult thing to do, to bring into a home. So what type of stone is this, do you know? This is soapstone. Soapstone. Okay. Any soapstone okay. countertops. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have a Viking stove, sub-zero fridge. Notice the tall ceilings and the transom lights up above, letting a lot of natural light in. You don't even need the lights on in, I know. in this room. I, it, you don't even, I don't even notice that the lights are on because it's so bright in here. Mm -hmm. And the copper sink, right there. Oh, yeah. Extra sink, extra dishwasher. You are ready to yeah. have <laughs> You got double stoves, double sinks, yes. double dishwashers. You yes. really can have a big party in here. And those are wolf ovens. Oh, well. wow. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Very good size kitchen. It's so bright and airy in here. I love it. And then you have the views yeah. of the pasture out there. I love these soapstone tile countertops. Soapstone countertops. I love these soapstone countertops. <laughs> Say that five times. I love these soapstone countertops. And, oh, I just noticed this. Yes, another yeah. example of hand-painted hand painted tiles there as well. Yes. The Eden um, area, again, with 1940s light fixture. I love the built-ins, too. Yes. I love the built-in bench. You have the built-in shelves. This is, this is amazing. And I love that this is hidden. Too. Yes, you have a yes. you hit the hidden uh, the fridge and man, this is huge. <laughs> it's enormous. Yes, it has a very good feel. Okay, cool. No shortage of closets throughout this house. There's two right here by the entry. Now we're about to enter the first floor bedroom oh suite. So this is just a guest suite. This is just the guest. This isn't the master. No, oh no. Gosh. But this that. is wonderful. Bathroom. Yes, and it oh has its God. own three season sun porch. Wow. Again, this is my personal favorite stained glass window here that he oh, made. It's the the owner. lime green it custom made. Yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. And that's an this. all season uh, sun porch. Man. You just sit and read a book in here. Yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get your guests to leave. No. They would want to stay. They would want to move in. And every season, it's just stunning. Look at this detail, again, around the ceilings. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Every room is unique into itself. Wood paneling, extra wide hallways. Let's enter the master. Look 
at the loggia that is built into this room. Imagine that when the flowers are in bloom, yeah. sitting out there with your cup of coffee in the morning. Yeah. Waking up with this view, though. I know. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes, the pasture wow. view is right out there. This used to be farmland. Yeah. Yeah, so we have two closets in the master. We have his closet, which is most homes only closet. Yeah. Which is quite formidable, again, with the beautiful wood floors. It's and enormous. Solid. Yeah. Solid. And of course, beautiful wood yes. all throughout. Yes, more wood, yeah. more beautiful paneling, another Rumford fireplace with custom hand done marble. Ooh, I love it. So we have um, large travertine tiles with matching Argentine granite counters and growy fixtures. We have a steam unit in the large walk-in shower. Electric radiant heat throughout all of these floors oh, as well. Oh, wow. Now this is what I'm talking about. Yes, <laughs> look at how sunny. We don't have one light on in this room. Oh my goodness. Imagine sitting here with a glass of wine yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Just how peaceful is this? Now, this is where you get away. <laughs> Another French sink. Yeah. Oh, cute. After all, this is a Pyr Pyrenees villa, so you need your French sink, of course. And now, if you thought that closet was enormous, yeah. wait till you see this. Oh, my goodness. This is a closet? Now, this is bigger than most people's bedroom. Exactly. <laughs> I love the light inside. Just amazing. Oh my goodness. Are these little, these look like, like antique too. Are these antique? They probably are. They look like they are. And no, another I would chandelier, say. lighted closets, uh, again, ornate trim yeah. work. The back, it's just, the back just amazing. Oh my goodness. Attention to detail yeah. in this house once again. It's so beautiful. Call you? Yeah. <laughs> I just keep looking down at this beautiful chandelier. I know. And the entryway. It's stunning. Is there a third a floor? Job. Yes, wait till you see the observatory and the third floor. Oh my observatory. Uh, breathtaking views of Woodstock Valley over there. I don't know if you can see it, but really incredible views. And the wood on the ceiling. It makes it feel like you're in Vermont. Oh my goodness. It does kind of feel like you're in Vermont, doesn't it? It's almost like a cabin. It cabin smell, feel. I even smell the yeah, wood. Yeah, the wood and the cabin feel. It's yes. really nice. Views too. Yes. There's a half bath here that is actually plumbed for a shower. If somebody would want to add a shower, you can just easily do that. Yeah. Very thoughtful of them. <laughs> and tons of storage. Yeah. Walk-in attic spaces, closets, walk-in closets, tons of storage. Now on to the observatory with a spiral staircase. Check all of the, all the animals, this all is the, the, this all is the, the lookout tower. This is the lookout tower. You can see it all from here. Man. And at night, great. when he turns the lights on and you drive up, it's really pretty. Very pretty. This is great space for kids. Have some fun little get togethers down here. Unbelievable. Throw them yeah. down here, yeah. and you don't even hear the, anything up from upstairs. Wow. And everything was built to the nines, just like all of the details throughout the house. I love this. This is just a nice, quiet space to let loose, really. Mm -hmm. And it was professionally landscaped by landscape architect Warren Leach of Tranquil Lake Nurseries in Rehoboth, Massachusetts. As you go through the outside, you'll see all the specimen plantings. Thank you so much, Lisa, for having us here. This house is just so beautiful. Yes, hopefully, if nothing else, you leave today realizing, fully appreciating all of the thoughtful care and time and money and effort that went into uh, building the, this the home. The design, quite frankly, is just, just 
the amazing. magnitude of it mm -hmm. is <laughs> amazing. It really is. So uh, this house is for sale. If you're interested in this property, please feel free to reach out to Lisa Rollins at the Rollins team. And until next time, I'm Sheena Ruggiero. Have a good day.